All right, you guys, so I'm going to teach you guys on how to use, um, or how to install, excuse me, no IP. Now, this is a uh, enhanced dynamic DNS, and this will help you connect to um, a your Minecraft server or to a TeamSpeak or to a Gary's Mod server, maybe, I'm not sure, probably not. So the first thing you need to do is sign up, um, create your username, password, uh, uh, you don't have to sign up for free, you know, you'll be able to do one free DNS and yeah, you can pay for it and get better stuff as well. Good recommendation, but right now I'm just going with that. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to, once you sign up, sign into your account. This is where people screw up the most, and I've seen this many times. So instead of going to domains and adding domains, you're going to want to go to manage hosts. And then you're going to go to add a host. Type in the host thing you want to put in. Let's say your clan's about potatoes. Put potato clan at, and then you put your free IPs because the ones up here in the cost. See, there's a uh, split line. No IP free domains. So you get to choose. Uh, I choose noip.org or anything like that. Server beer, serve beer or whatever. Zapto.org, whatever it's you want. You type it in. Leave everything else alone. And then you add host. Go back to your manage host, and it should be there. It should says live. Now always go back and see, check your email when you activate it. Would see if the no IP expires, and you have to renew it, and you'll be good. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to go back onto the website and then download it. Click download, and for me, I don't really need it, but you're gonna run it, install it, and it should come up onto your. It, when it's not gonna come up to your desktop, we have to go in your start file, find the uh, no IP, which should be right about here and then just throw it onto your desktop now once you launch it it should minimize so the next thing you want to do is you're going to go to edit hosts and excuse me go to edit and log into your account I'm already logged in obviously so I don't even have to do that so you're gonna go to edit hosts and your IP should have come up or you can create a host on here as well but this is available this feature is available only for enhanced so once you've made it on the website you're going to click it say password and then voila everything goes green and now it's broadcasting to test it out you launch your minecraft server which it should be here uh, the one that I made in my last video and then you grab um, Minecraft you log into it server's already done and then you click log in you open it up now it's censored and then you throw in your no IP which mines uh, and it should let you log in test it out by giving it to your friends and if your friends are able to connect you did it right um, Make sure that it's running while the Minecraft server is running. You cannot simply just exit out, leave it in the background. I just have it all here pinned to my desktop. So when I boot up my computer, I just click all three of those, include my TeamSpeak server, Minecraft, and everything, and it goes up. So I hope that's all, guys. That's that's all, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, got any questions? Uh, if you do have a web hosting or anything like that, server hosting or, or anything like that, uh, want to get custom. Um, web address for or an IP um, I don't know go find out with your service provider or anything like that about if you if you ever Minecraft server being hosted they might have an option for that I I just run mine locally and all my friends connect to it so that is all guys um, remember I'll put a link in the description to how to install plugins so if you want to learn how to install plugins click that and see you later